Stanford University. There's been an alarming increase in the rate of urbanization that's happening throughout the world today. Um, we recently passed the halfway mark where 50% of humanity live in urban areas. Projections are that by 2050, we're going to be at around 70% of humanity living in urban areas. Along with this is coming a decrease in the amount of nature exposure that people have and the degree to which they interact with natural environments. And then there's a third trend, um, which is there is an increase in anxiety and other mental health disorders, including depression, especially um, in urban areas. It's mental health benefits to people and may help buffer against the onset of things like depression and anxiety disorders. For this study, participants went for a walk, either in a natural area, which was a grassland with scattered oaks near Stanford campus, or an urban area, which was the most highly trafficked street near campus. And we also scanned their brains before and after their walks. The participants that went for a walk in a natural area had decreased levels of this rumination or brooding, kind of beating oneself up, um, than did the participants who went for a walk in an urban environment. This type of thinking is highly associated with the onset of depression. We looked at the parts of the brains that are active during rumination and we noticed a decrease in the nature participants, but no change in the urban. We don't know very much yet at all about how much nature we need to get these benefits, how long we need to spend in these natural environments in order to kind of reap the benefits they provide. We also don't know how these effects differ across different people. We need to start thinking about how we can integrate nature back into cities and give people more opportunities to interact with natural environments to get those benefits that natural environments give them for their mental health.